What's going on, friendos? It's me, LITD Sandman, bringing you another Undertale video. In the last video, we got to Snowden. We killed everything in sight, and then we knocked Papyrus' head off. And obviously, he didn't expect that. We got a little lizard looking child here. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Uh, 18 left, so I gotta kill 18 of these motherfuckers. I'm tired of these motherfucking monsters in this motherfucking waterfall. It's down here. Oh, the rocks aren't falling anymore. I wonder why that is. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. I still wish there was a run button, but there isn't. Use the box. Uh, yeah, I'm not using the bandage right now. I don't think that... And I'll keep the snowman pieces. Got an old tutu. Gonna equip that. Mm. There we go. Old tutu. What's my other thing? Oh, my manly bandana. I I, I know Frisk. The ch this child's name is supposed to be androgynous, but like, ugh. I don't know. Everything, everything about Frisk just points to girl, and I know I understand some people agree and disagree, but that's just how I think. I don't know, maybe I have a very biased mind. Freaky armor looking. Oh god! Oh! Oh, on the neutral route? No, because I, I didn't. I didn't like killing anybody on the neutral in my first playthrough. Although I didn't know how to save Toriel, so I ended up killing her, you know, just like everybody else. But wow, Papyrus doesn't even show up in this scene. I mean, obviously, because I, you know, I offed him, but. No, I didn't. It's all the scenes where you fully expect the characters that you used to know to be you fully expect them to be there but they're they're not they're just uh, I don't know there's just something really eerie and strangely satisfying about it oh come on I can't even do this I can't even do these puzzles that sucks Aaron flexes in. Now see, I really love this character. I really, really do. Because I have a friend uh, named Aaron. And he he has kind of like the same hair. I mean, he has kind of the emo hair. He has the exact same hair. He has the exact same muscles. And I don't know why, but I just love this. I love this character so much. He hates me every time I bring it up. Phew, I'm sweating. Pop the molly, I'm sweating. Oh, my voice cracked. Oh, yeah. Sorry if my voice cracks. Uh, I was recently out with a couple friends celebrating a birthday. So, my voice still hasn't fully recovered. Uh, so, uh, so, I won't be able to get my voice as high and I won't be able to yell as loud as I would usually like to. Uh, so, that's how that goes. Strange as hell. Nobody's talking? Watch your shuffles up. No, there's a lot of fan art. Oh, whoa. There's a lot. Oh, god damn. Calm down. Calm down. There's a lot of fan art of Aaron and Washua for some reason. I don't know why. It's the wishing room. Are all of these silent? And this is the uh, check the wall thing, yeah. There's nothing. I didn't even need to check the wall, it's already gone. Ancient writing, can you just make out the words? Alright, let's see here. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed it seemed that they had nothing to fear. 
Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's it's an illustra it's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. I wish I knew what it was. You wanna know what the really scary part about this entire area is? That entire dark area? That's water. Or what's supposed to be water. And just... Uh, imagine... Oof. Hello. Oh no, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Jet, got dap, fuck, got... Oh, oh god. Juke? 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 Oh god. Yep. Yeah, yeah uh, no. I'm on, I'm honestly I honestly really liked the Undyne fights. Uh you know, thinking back to the first playthrough. Uh I absolutely loved them because I like how you had to block her attacks uh using the arrow key. It reminded like way, way long ago, uh I used to play a game called uh Step Mania. And I absolutely loved it. You know, I, I moved from that. I, then I moved on to Osu. Uh, I, I don't play any, either of the games anymore for one reason or another. Uh, but I absolutely loved those games. And th th that feeling of being able to get back in touch with that was great. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you lucky. Or unlucky. If you're saying just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Splat. I never truly understood why she kept falling. Until, uh... Until I realized that, uh... Oh god, what is it? Um... That she doesn't have any arms. Squeak. Strangely silent. 16. Um, really wondering what part I'm gonna cut it off to start stacking up the kills. You gotta get the kill feed. I'm not a Call of Duty player. Please don't label me as such. I really don't like that. I really don't. I, I, like I said, I, I explained all that in my, uh, uh, whatever it's called. The intro video. I really don't care for first person shooters. But no, I I understand some people do. But eh, I don't know why. They're, to me, you know, it's the same argument as before. They're all the same. Uh but most of it I just don't care for them. I don't care for the aiming, I don't care for all that. Let's see. Mold small. Smack. Squirt wait. There's something weird about that one. They don't make a scorch. Mold malls don't make scorches. Well, maybe they do. Pallor para ballet shoes. What do these say? Just make you feel incredibly dangerous. Oh wait, wasn't there a? Uh... Oh god, what was that show? Wasn't there a... It was either a cartoon or a TV show about aliens that, like, absolutely hated really cutesy things. And, like, just just thinking... Just either being near... Oh, wow. I was not prepared. For, I was not prepared. I never used those, uh... Never used these before. You know, because I always talked through them before. That's interesting that three show up at a time. Oh, but... Uh, every time they, 
uh, see something cute or something cute gets too close to them, really cutesy, that they actually start like getting hurt. They start physically dying. Takes the power of a soul. This is the power that the humans feared. I don't know. It, but like whenever that happened, whenever I see the tutus and all that, and you know me beating up the monsters, that's all I can think. And it's really hilarious. Cause I'm, cause I'm, I'm not imagining like kicking monsters and you no know, beating them up. I'm imagining just like hugging them, and then they just burning and sizzling and disappearing. <sighs> Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Oh, okay. What? Well, what is that? Honestly, what is that? That's a penis. That's a penis. The northern room hides a great treasure. Ugh, I never figured this out. I never figured this piano thing out. Ugh. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special s species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. I've never understood that for that phrase. That, like, why will it never, why will it never happen again? No, maybe hopefully I'll find something when you know, I finish the genocide playthrough and then I'm going to go through on my own channel like I was saying in the previous video go through the pacifist uh, I don't know I really want to find out why like what that means like why why will it never happen again now, what counts as a boss monster yo you got an umbrella awesome Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. Ha 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 ha. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. That that doesn't sound very nice. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. And I've always liked this particular scene too. I just it looks nice it really does it just looks magical like it looks like uh... disney it's like just very steep hmm. yo you wanna see undying climb on my shoulders okay let's go Whee! Ow, you tried being a little less rough, huh? Oh, looking for another way through. Later. Splat. The humans afraid of our power declared war on us. They attacked us suddenly and without mercy. Twelve left. Ugh, I'm trying to remember at what point Undyne shows up so I know when to you know, cut it off and go do the monsters. In the end it could hardly be called a war. United the humans are too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. Uh, that, that That's another reason why I really like this game that I, no, I just remembered. 
it puts a really nice, different take on the whole humans and monsters things. Because, you know, every, everything is all like, oh, monsters are dangerous, humans are weak, humans have to uh, team up. Uh, you know, mo monsters will destroy us all. No, this one, the hu- oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, fuck. And, no, and this one, the humans are stronger. The humans are better because of their own will. And this will to live, this will to evolve and learn. Oof, that was a close one. No, it, it's what sets us up, it's what sets humans and the monsters apart. And that's why, you no, know, these humans are so volatile and deadly to these monsters, because these monsters don't evolve. You know that? You no, know, I'm guessing these monsters probably have lived for oh, oh, hundreds and hundreds of years. And you no, know, like like that thing was saying, a single, it would take all. Of, mon of the monster kind to make up for a single human soul and uh, that's just so absolutely fascinating I love it. I really wish more games I mean yes that particular style of uh, creating protagonists and antagonists have become more popular as of recent uh, let me read this really quick. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Kara, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Oh, but yeah, it, like, that style of making protagonists and antagonists has gotten more and more popular as of recent, you know, because more people are realizing this, more people want that, and that's really good, I really love that. Uh, but, that, like, the, but if it gets too much, it's gonna become too far, few and far between, and you gotta watch out for the really good ones, the ones that really perfect it. Just garbage, garbage, a trash heap. Garbage habit shows no signs of payoff. Trash. Huh. Alright, 12 left. Alright, as soon as I get... If I remember the map correctly, pretty soon I got to, um... Do whatever it's called. Um... Oh god, what is it? I have to go through like all the colorful or the light mazes with the mushrooms and that's when I'll probably cut this off uh, because I'm gonna attempt to make some of these videos shorter no I'm probably gonna make this one you know I'll cut it off just before the undying not just before like about halfway through the undying fight seems like a regular training dummy nah oh. I know I no I've yeah. my friend uh show me a noob you no know, he had a lot of trouble with this boss and undyne and honestly I re they were just really easy for me and that's really funny my cousin used to live in Dummy too until you came along not only did your actions cause them to leave their home now all of their neighbors are gone too. Despicable, despicable, despicable. You're the worst person I've ever met. I've never been more mad. Whoa, my magic and love are going off the charts. I have turned kawaii. This, this feeling. Eureka, Eureka, Eureka. Human, that moment of unbridled emotion it allowed me to finally fuse with my body. I'm fully corporal now. My lifelong dream realized. In return, I guess I won't stop you. How's that sound? The glad dummy lets you go. Nah, sorry baby. You won. 
Oh, good, 11. Is that counted? Hmm. Nope. What about here? Oh, I love that. It's locked. I've also I've also never been able to get into here. Into that uh pink house. Oh man, there's nobody here. No my snails. Ah. I was also never able to beat that race. Alright. Use the box. I'll toss a tough glove in there. Let me see what this guy's got. Wahaha, so you came. What a treat. Don't expect a discount? Is this guy being a dick too? Eh, there's nothing here. Really? You wanna chat? Long ago, Asgore and I agreed that escaping would be pointless. Since once we left, humans would just kill us. I felt I felt a little betrayed when he eventually changed his mind. But now I think maybe he was right too. Cause after all, even though we never escaped, a human's killing us anyway, ain't that right? Ah, you cheeky son of a bitch. He knows too much, I need to kill him. I've lived too long to be afraid of something like you. Try it, kiddo. I know you can't hear. Waha. Knowledge like that is the only reason I've survived so long. Eh? Fight you? <laughs> nah. I'm not a hero. I never was. Besides, these old bones aren't fit for fighting anywho. One attack from you and then I'd... well... At least by talking to you, I've bought enough time for some of them to escape. Uh, I'm not a hero, but I know there's someone out there. Someone who will never give up trying to do the right thing, no matter what. There's no prophecy or legend about anyone like that. It's just something I know is true. That someone like that will strike you down. Oh man, I'm loving the genocide route, by the way. It's so satisfying to be playing, you know, a villain. No, because, you know, you're, you're always a good guy in most other games. Uh, but, you know, you're never really... You never really feel like the villain. No, there are some games... You know, uh, there are some games where... Oh, it's Temmie! It's Temmie! Temmie! Goodbye, Demi. You won earned 40 XP and 50 gold. Oh, but... Uh, there are some games out there that, like... Yes, you should do the... Quote-unquote, right thing. You know, and then at the very end, turns out... Oh, guess what? That right thing was the bad thing, and now you're the bad guy. Ha <laughs> ha, you're a dick. You know, there, there are games like that out there. But never games that you're just full on no guess what you're the villain go do evil things uh, but no I'm gonna cut off this video here uh, in the next video we'll finish up the waterfall uh, after I end this video I'm gonna go ahead and strike through the um, rest of the monsters so next time we won't have to worry about any of those and then we can just con continue straight on with the story so this has been LITD Sandman I will see you guys in the next video Johnny